Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock options analysis. So let's take a look at where the options traders are betting their money for this week and I'll provide my opinion as well based off of the technicals that um, what type of options may come into fruition, what window range Nvidia would trade in and all in all what options may go worthless and also just identifying the sentiment of the traders options traders where they're putting their money right so also if you can check this video out on my channel that is the nvidia is 140 dollars retest this week possible with the levels to watch as well i'm talking about it in this particular video check it out to get a head start on the options this particular video so that will help you out already and also don't forget to check out my junior trader dividend investing channel link to this channel is in the also the description of this video here i'm building a public facing portfolio sharing my plays and updates and how much profits i'm in and all in all everything right so check this channel out as well all right let's come back over here so very high level quick glance on the technicals if you know we want to just just to set the stage and we are still on nvidia full-on bullish there is nothing to worry about as long as we stay above 118 and even after that i do expect 20 days moving average to give it just a pullback and just a support to the upside we are very strong still on nvidia unless and until i'm not seeing any price action to the downside i don't see what to worry about price action is still showing me after 106 dollars the level that i talked about also on my channel last weekend and that was nvidia this 106 a game changing level this in this video i provide a modeling system on you know why i think nvidia after this is just going to become super strong bullish so check that video out if you're interested to know all right so anyways let's get to the options and let's just go over what we see of the of the front of you know the the the, the numbers so Green are the calls, red are the puts, black is the last trading day closing price. So you can clearly see the favor, the direction, the spikes are on the call side. Now we are speak, seeing spikes at 125. I'm not going to talk about 125 because it's very close to where the price is right now. I'm going to be talking about $130 calls and $140 calls and also 135. But this is where you can see a lot of call spike is. I'm not going to talk about out of the money or sorry in the money calls which are here i'm going to only talk about out of the money calls and the puts puts are not that high i do see 115 and 110 some spikes so how about we start off with those puts uh, again just because we have spike at these calls or puts doesn't mean price is going to go there it just tells you that where the traders are betting their money we still have to stick with the technicals and trade technically right so let's start off with the puts 110 dollar puts are that is that possible so where is $110 puts? So right off the gate, there are two strong support, three strong support levels actually, 50 days moving average. And then we have $118 due to this previous, uh, you know, the distribution phase uh, bottom support, we are above that. So the, these two are strong levels and then also 20 days moving average, three strong support levels. Like things have to really break in the stock market if we have to break all these three areas within a week right so 110 dollar put are worthless in my opinion there is no point in trading those period simple again if that has to happen nothing is guaranteed in stock market but the likelihood of that happening is maybe one percent or two percent in my opinion if things would change if one if we lose 118 on on monday and we close below that for some reason i would still only give 110 dollar puts maybe 15 to 20 percent probability we have a strong 20 days moving average pivot coming in but just want to i'm just sharing my opinion what about 115 dollar puts right so let's bring this line up and now this one is interesting i would still say likelihood of this happening is low very low we have 50 days moving average support sitting we also have 118 dollars level support sitting and also structure all in all is still bullish at least right now i'm not seeing 115 happen um, that may only happen if tuesday we are still below 50 hours moving average and somewhere around 118 and a little bit lower by tuesday or when sure wednesday as well if we are you know if by wednesday we have formed our 
you know lower candles and lower highs and a lot of wicks up on the top then only i would say maybe 115 is a possibility but right now the way the price action is i'm not willing to give it more than 10 percent likelihood it's very low probability no i don't think that's a safer bet in my opinion no it's not all right so that's 115 dollar puts what about the puts a little bit higher up here 118 and 120 now let's first bring it over here now that may possibly be intraday puts that could be traded but for that you need to see it break first below 122 if nvidia does that these are only intraday type of puts though guys 120 and 118 don't hold them until the week end of the week i mean right then only that's what i'll um, only gonna say unless otherwise i see some strong price rejection up here but right now structure is not showing me even for 118 or 120 dollar puts a strong argument we are still very strong again 120 puts maybe only if only intraday though and then if things starts to still stay weak you can hold on to those but it's just that the risk of holding it until the end of the week is that because we have strong support sitting right now at least right now in my opinion as of today with the what i'm seeing in the price action i just want to stay away from all the puts right now because price action is not even showing any weakness right now all right let's talk about the calls so 130 is that within reach so 130 dollar calls we are not far away from that and we are in that direction right it's not a bad trade yes it's a possibility we are above 50 days moving average if we stay above 122 by uh, if we don't lose let's say by tuesday if we don't reach 130 even though average range is like five dollars on nvidia right now but for any reason let's say if we don't reach 130 by tuesday but if nvidia still is holding above 50 days moving average and also above 122 is just chopping around here but still forming higher highs higher lows 130 is still within the game all right as long as in other words if we stay above 122 by tuesday without reaching 130 we are still fine for 130 calls what about the 135 and 140 so 135 let's bring it up here okay so this is where we start to get into the supply zones all right both 100 and let's take a look at both of these 135 and 140 now look for 140 calls let's i want to talk about that first actually sorry so 140 dollars calls you're going to only make money on this if it gets above 140 and since it's an all-time highs and we are starting the week a little bit quite behind i would not want to play 140 dollar calls just for the reason that it's an all-time high supply zones two supply zones are sitting there and we need to see some consolidation up here strong consolidation then only we'll have a playable call option at 140 it's different from retesting 140 and playing the calls 140 because to play the calls of 140 you need this thing to be above to make a lot of money otherwise it's just better trade with the shares right so yeah i would like to stay away from 140 dollars calls but what about 135 i would say that sure it's likely we can test it as long as we don't lose 122 dollars and we stay strong uh, the thing is that we are getting into the supply zone test so it's it's possible but i i, I don't want to put a lot of money for that as well just because we are into the supply zone if we would have been strong somewhere here right even until 130 or so then these supply zones would not have worried me but since we are far away from these supply zones and these are supply zones i would a little bit be careful even with 135 dollar calls right so it's possible but it's the retest is possible for the calls but it's still far away so maybe 30 percent likelihood is but at least for now what i'll give it if if monday 
we are at 132 if by monday we are above 127 then yes 135 is likely all right so anyway so but what i'm what i also want to point out is that we have a lot of interest on the calls side less puts interest um, and most of the puts are going to go worthless in my opinion now talking about the what's the safest window to trade the options in my opinion even for both the upside or the downside that is from anywhere from 20 days yes 20 days you would be like junior trader but you said uh, playing puts below 118 is just like no point what I, what I mean is that yes there's less likelihood but if let's say price action monday closes below 122 and goods let's starts to get weaker we start to seeing wixed up here right sell off lot of sell off then yeah it becomes a possibility so what i'm trying to say here is that if though right now in the price action i'm not seeing those 118 dollar puts come to fruition but if price action monday or tuesday starts to show us weakness over here because i don't do these videos on the options every day so i'm providing you all the use cases then 180 may start to look fine so what i'm trying to provide here is what is the possible probable range that you will be safer to trade based off of the price action and that is from 20 days moving average all the way to 135 in my opinion whatever happens to nvidia it will trade in this range from 114 to 135 based off of all the price action but this is the if price breaks then i don't think below 113 it will go or 114 if it stays up i think 136 is the top line range but again this is the safest zone it can go above or beyond based on how the price action is developing throughout the week which i'll keep talking in my videos but this is for as of right now based off of all the use cases that i can take this is the range that worst case or best case 114 to 136 in my opinion as the price session would evolve either direction but not saying that it's going to go touch both sides what i'm saying is that based off of the price action as it evolves these are the safest ranges all right okay that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel and also don't forget to check out my dividend investing channel as well all right guys appreciate your support and with that i'll see you in my next videos take care bye